We're here at Rodin to show you how this billet goes from this to this on this futuristic autonomous cell. So, let's go. Hey everyone, it's Tom here from MTD CNC and we're going to talk you through something you will probably have never seen before. A fully autonomous machining centre, should we call it, or company. You can just see the size of this thing. It was huge. Now, you've just seen a blank billet be loaded into this machine and that is one of only, what should we say, that is one of only two times you'll ever see a human actually work on this. This machine was huge, and as you've seen, we've had to speed it up because otherwise this video would have been quite long. Me and Joe flew in and we had to go straight to the facility because we only had one actual full day to film this, which just was not enough. So we actually went and spent another half a day before this to get as much footage, and as you can see, it looks unreal. Now. You've just seen this block move all the way through the first part of the process and is now getting picked up by this humongous robot. Wait till you see the close-up. The grippers were huge. Look how you've got robot working with robot and you can nicely see my arm there as I'm trying to uh, film some stuff on my phone. Picking up this tiny little block and the first thing it does, puts it in the vise which is all checked automatically no human intervention here at all. The robot then picks the vice up and puts it into the machine. Now, they had four Mazaks attached to this system at this moment, but they were already planning on ordering another four because the great thing about this system is they can expand and expand and expand. Before, actually, before we talk about the machining, we need to talk about this because this is unloading worn out tools. You can see the white racking just to the right hand side of the robot. That is full of tools. But let's be honest, tools don't last forever. So when a tool has worn, this robot will take it, place it in that block so that it can be changed or tips on a face mill or a high feed can be changed. And then once it's been done, the new tools are loaded back into that block. The machine, the system will come pick up that new tool and put it where it needs to be and the great thing about this is they had sister tools for each tool so that the machine never ever stops now obviously you're seeing this now being probed and the good thing about this is obviously without human intervention you've got to be a bit worried about tolerances on your parts but they have a system for that as well so obviously they're using the probing system to check and check and check to make sure every part comes off right and also once this block once this vice is actually taken out you'll see it dropped onto let's call it a pedestal where it's checked again and the thing is if it comes off and it's wrong the system will automatically rejig to make sure that goes back through now have you ever seen anything like this before to get from up one to up two that block is placed on a very small, I don't really know what to call it. I want to call it a pedestal again, but I think that's wrong. But then the robot is actually moved underneath and picks it up again and back in for up two. And as you can see, just as the robot moves away, it's got scanners. So it's checking the tolerances every time. And the thing is, if it comes out and the, tolerances is, the tolerance isn't right, the system will automatically rejig so that it can get that block back through the machine to make sure the tolerance is right again. Now, obviously, it's not just a milling section, they have a turning section as well with two Mazak Integrex machines, which are one of my favorite machines. They are just so cool, and I really wish I would have got to a used one at one point, but never say never, we may get there one day. As you can see, there is nobody around. There's tools, the robot grippers. Can I, the robot will actually change its grippers itself 
they have a full tool library which the machine will check if the right tool is in the machine that it needs to machine the part and if it's not it will actually go and fetch it but they will they're actually going to get an AGV to then do that bit as well so this entire factory could be run by one guy who is literally just setting machines just quick as we're going through this the full video is on our YouTube channel where I actually take a bit of a, a deep dive into this whole system from the professionals who built it and who run it now here we go we are on our way out and as you can see this was an open house which is always there's always a great thing about open houses free food free drink and don't get me wrong the food was unreal I think Joe actually went back two or three times but we'll not we'll not go on that too much and this facility, the, the guys at Rodin were told this couldn't be done, or a one, one, they had a great story which they had to have. They had a saying which, if you said it, you had to do a forfeit, and that was, "We've always done it that way, this way." And if you said, "We've always done it this way," you had to do a forfeit because, with that in mind, you will never go forward. But what the guys did is, with not saying that, they've done something no one has ever done before. I'm going to bid you a fond farewell and I will leave you to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. So we watched this raw billet turn into this dice, but this whole process wouldn't be possible without the partnership between Rodin and Fastems, who have built something that has never been done before.